morning, everybody. It is Thursday. I keep having in my head that it's Friday. It's not Friday. I uh, <laughs> I'm so confused. <coughs> um, not much going on right now. I'm thinking about what to have for breakfast. Ash is getting ready for work. Um, I do have the yearbook meeting today, so I will be leaving here around tw uh, 2.30. I feel like it's coming up in a couple of hours, but it's not, it's only quarter to 10. Hear that? I'm so blocked on the right side this morning. But yeah, we're close to Friday, can't wait. Does anybody watch Rachel Ray? I love Rachel Ray. I used to tape it. But I think while I'm down here, I'm just going to have it on in the background, even though it's quite loud right now. It'll turn it down a little bit. Right now, it's Ryan and Kelly. Now, I heard a rumor. Anybody over here who watches uh, live with Ryan and Kelly, I heard before Christmas that Kelly was going to be leaving the show, which devastating. I love her so much. But I haven't heard anything about it since. So, does anybody out there know if Kelly is leaving live with Ryan and Kelly to pursue her skincare? Now, it could have been a dream, could all be made up in my head, because I see nothing. I could have sworn I saw it on Yahoo. And that brings me to another point. I saw on Yahoo as well that The Voice has given Kelly, another Kelly, one of the judges, Kelly Clarkson, an ultimatum even though they're not calling it an ultimatum. She has to lose some weight before the next show. Isn't the voice all about what people don't look like? Hello. I'll just say, you know that show, The Voice? I saw on Yahoo that Kelly Clarkson, the, the producers have told her that she has to lose weight if she's to be considered for the next series. What season? What is the main point of The Voice? The voice is where they don't get to see the singers, so they're not judging them on how they look. So how can the how can the producers do that to her? Meanwhile, she won the last season. So what are your thoughts on that? I didn't even click. I was telling Pete the story, and he goes, wait, isn't the whole voice um, I'm not on appearance, just on your voice? So yeah, good point, Pete. So if she doesn't come back, I am actually going to write to the voice because I think it's disgusting. Anyway, I'm going to go now because I'm all congested. Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. It is now 20 to 2. I'm running over to the grocery store before I go. I like to get to the school by 2.30 to try and get a parking spot before everybody comes to pick up the kids. So I'm going to go to the grocery store, get a few bits that we need first and then go. It took me forever and a day to get Louie to come inside. I'm absolutely freezing. My hands are red. I don't know, my cheeks are a bit red, but anyway, I'll uh, talk to you guys shortly. Whew, off we go. Bad angle, how bad and red my face and ear is when I leave. That room is boiling. I look like I've run a marathon. Okay, so I get home from the meeting. I park the car, get out of the car, walk into the house and go, oh, forgot all my groceries that I bought. So yeah. <laughs> I had to go back and get groceries all on the table. Then we just took the dogs out. But Louis won't do anything and he's trying to get back in and I need him to do what he's supposed to do because the minute I sit down, he'll want to go out or he'll make a mess. Hello everybody, it is now quarter to five. I'm not sure if Pete's, Pete's or Ash, neither of them are responding to any of my texts. Sorry, every time, it's because it's like I've got a mirror in front of me now. So that's why I do it every time. I don't mess with my hair until I pick the camera up. Um, Meeting went so well. I love my crew. I love my crew. I really do. They're the nicest group of kids. And they, you know, even if they can't stay for the meeting, they come down and tell me they're not going to be at the meeting because of A, B, or C, which is really considerate and nice. And I just love them so much. And now they're all calling me Sue, except one young lady, she calls me Miss. And then as she was leaving today, because I told them call me Sue, I'm not a teacher. I know teachers, they have to call Miss, da 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 da. But um, we're all working together and I just appreciate it. They call Pete Mr. P, it's funny. But um, 
as she's leaving. She's like, bye, Sue. I'm like, I'll see you guys next week. They're like, no, two weeks. I'm like, two weeks? So I said to one of the, the our editor-in-chief, she said, oh, there's exams starting this week and all next week are exams. So um, there probably won't be a meeting next week. I, but mm, I don't know. They don't have school Monday anyway, because Monday is Martin Luther King Day, so they have Monday off. I thought there was school next Thursday. I don't know. I'll have to check on that one, actually. Unless she was going somewhere that she couldn't be coming, because she has an exam. I don't know. It's, they, they seem to have a lot of exams, these kids. But anyway, I'm having a coffee now. I, um, I bought some of the half-calf coffee at the store. It's like three ninety nine for 12 pot. I should have got two. I was at the store and I was just going as fast as I could. I had my list. I wasn't necessarily there because of the impending snow, but I knew there was a couple of things that we needed. I wanted to make a chili, but of course I forgot the kidney beans. So I've now put the meat in the freezer and I'll make it another day when I go get the, chi the kidney beans, or I can make it without the beans, depending on what Pete wants. But I've got a lasagna for tonight. I know Ashley won't eat the lasagna, so I've got Ashley a chicken alfredo, oh, sirens. Um, it's gone up so gray outside, but they pushed it back now. First of all, it was gonna snow at 11, then 12, then one. So we'll see. I'm not gonna worry about it, but yeah, the supermarket was packed and people were going crazy buying. And I think people wouldn't be as crazy if there wasn't another one coming through on Saturday. I think people would be a bit calmer, but I just looked at my weather and now it says Friday, Saturday, Sunday. There's just snowflakes everywhere. So we'll see. It's going to be what it's going to be, isn't it, guys? There's nothing we can do about it. So, but I, get, I come home, I put the groceries away after I forgot them in the car. I, could, I was like walking in the house. I'm like, what am I missing? Ugh. Duh. Um, and I didn't drop them off before I went to the meeting because I didn't want to get the dogs upset with me coming back in the house. Plus, I knew they'd be perfectly fine in the car for 45 minutes because it's freezing outside. But um, I go into Pete's office to check on something and I come back and Lou, little Louie drops to his side and had a, a little seizure. It, was, it only lasted like 10 seconds, but he was so bewildered. He's had them before and our other beagle, Abby, used to get them as well. And they're not fun to watch. And it's like, it's not like Louie can turn around and go, oh, blimey. <laughs> Where did that come from? Or I feel like this. Or, oh, help me, Sue. Poor little thing. He's laying over there now. I think he wants to go up to his bed. But I don't want him to go upstairs and be by himself. I want him to stay down here with me. Um, I'm not sure if Pete's going over to the school. Pete was supposed to leave early today and uh, do the wrestling. So it's wrestling senior night for the wrestlers. Um, Pete usually photographs it. So I don't know if he's got Joe going. Uh, it started 20 minutes ago, or if Pete's going, he might be driving, that's why he's ignored my text. But I know he had a lot of work on today, so I really don't know. And I texted Ashley too, and she must be in the middle of a makeover, because she always responds, even if it's okay. Um, so she must be in the middle of a makeover. So anyway, I've finished drinking my coffee, I'm going to watch something that I've taped off of this TV, TV transponder. I upped my game i was like why can i only tape a few for, you know because you can actually record with this one and i had a five dollar and 99 five ninety nine membership i put it up to the whole eight what did i put it up to the eight ten ninety nine i've got the gold membership now so i can tape i can record 30 minutes of stuff so if i you know i can't watch it live which i really can't watch half of it live because of the time difference um i can record it so as you can see I went nuts and I went through and all these are recordings and then all of this is stuff that's going to record on this side over the next few days. <laughs> God forbid I miss anything. Oh dear. I could just use a nap to be honest. It's so hot in that school. That's so why I wanted to show you my face right away because I got in the car and I looked in the mirror because I, this ear was on fire. It's only ever that ear though. I don't understand. Not this one. This one just stays white, and this one goes red as you like. Look, it's still red. To, well, maybe not. No, it's not. But it was so red. I was laughing. And then I was like, as soon as I picked the camera up like this, I'm realizing, like, all the counselors, I'm parked in front of all their windows. 
And then this guy gets out of his car, two cars across didn't know, and he's looking at me and I'm like, oh dear, maybe I'm just having a long <laughs> a, uh, FaceTime conversation. I get so, whoop, and I drop the phone down like an idiot, but oh dear. Anyway, what are you gonna do with yourself? Lasagna for dinner. Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. 10 o'clock, just cleaned up from dinner. Um, lasagna took a little longer to cook, but Pete had to go out and do some errands anyway, so I didn't want to start it right away. <sighs> God, you're not seeing straight. Anyway, um, <sighs> I'm so tired. I was eating my dinner and I could barely keep my eyes open. So I said to Pete, I am coming up here now because he's going back in his office. Ash just showered and washed her hair so she doesn't have to go to bed with her hair soaking wet. Um, you know, she'll have work tomorrow if the snow doesn't come. It's kind of changing already. It was supposed to start at 12 o'clock and go through 6 o'clock in the morning. And that's even changed. Starts at 12, stops at 1, starts at 3, stops at 5. So tomorrow will probably be nothing, nothing to worry about. But on that note, guys, I hope everybody's had a brilliant, brilliant Thursday. Whatever you guys did today, I hope it was a good one. And we'll definitely see you tomorrow. Good night. Mm -hmm.